Pigs Might Fly by Jonathan Emmett and Steve Cox. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs, but I'm sure you know that story already. So this is the story of what happened next. So, twice upon a time, there were three not so little pigs. Their names were Waldo, Woody and Wilbur. This is Waldo. Waldo was not the cleverest of pigs and he never learnt by his mistakes. After his straw house, he had tried to build a straw television and even a straw bicycle. This is Woody. Woody was cleverer than Waldo, but he wasn't very careful. So while things that Woody built often looked impressive, they didn't last very long. And this is Wilbur. Wilbur was the smart pig of the litter. When Wilbur built something, he always went the whole hog and built it properly. Oh yes, and this is the big bad wolf, whose real name was Algernon. So you can see why he never told anybody. The wolf was still sore about what had happened the first time he climbed down the three big pig's chimney. In fact, his bottom was so badly scalded he still couldn't sit down properly. One day, Wilbur saw this advert in his newspaper. Pie in the sky, air race. That sounds like a prize worth winning, thought Wilbur, licking his lips. When Waldo and Woody heard about the race, they were just as keen to enter. And so each pig set about building an aeroplane. Waldo thought that he should stick to what he knew best. So he built his plane out of, can you guess, straw. Woody usually threw things together from whatever was lying around. So he built his plane out of, can you guess, sticks. And Wilbur, well, at first Wilbur didn't build anything. He just drew lots of pictures. Wilbur was still drawing when Waldo and Woody had finished building their planes. I want to make sure everything works properly, he explained. When Wilbur finally started, he built his plane out of, can you guess? No, not bricks. Who ever heard of an aeroplane made out of bricks? He built it out of metal, of course. And all this time, the big bad wolf had been spying on the pigs. Here he is spying in the tree. At last! He grinned. My chance for revenge. I'll stop those pigs from hogging all the glory, he thought. I'll win that air race. Then I'll wolf down those pies and have three porkers for pudding. On the day of the race, all the airplanes were lined up and ready to go. The big bad wolf had brought along his own plane and was wearing a sheepskin flying jacket and a hat as a disguise. He sneaked round the back of Wilbur's jet and drained out all the fuel. Oh no. A horn sounded and the race began. Waldo's aeroplane wobbled down the runway. Woody's aeroplane rattled down the runway. But Wilbur's aeroplane didn't move at all. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Waldo's new straw aeroplane had only made it halfway down the runway when the wolf came speeding up behind him. Let me win, little pig, let me win, he shouted. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, called Waldo. Then I'll vroom and I'll zoom and I'll smash your plane in, cried the wolf. And he drove his jet, whoosh, straight through the middle of Waldo's aeroplane and took off into the sky. Woody's aeroplane had started well, but it began to fall apart in the air. The wolf came whizzing up. Let me win, little pig, let me win, he shouted. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, called Woody. Then I'll vroom and I'll zoom and I'll smash your plane in, cried the wolf. And he drove his jet crash 
right through the middle of Woody's aeroplane and smashed it to pieces. The wolf was now so sure he was going to win the race that he decided to show off a bit. Look at me, look at me, he cried, and he looped the loop. He had just finished his daring display when, whee! Who should come flying past but the three little pigs? Wilbur had refueled his jet and picked up the others. Now they were ahead of the wolf. <gasps> Here they are in the aeroplane sat in the seats. The wolf was furious. Let me win! Let me win! Little pigs, let me win! shouted the wolf. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, called all the pigs. Then I'll vroom and I'll zoom and I'll smash your plane in, cried the wolf. But try as he might, the wolf could not break down Wilbur's aeroplane. Right, thought the wolf, if that plane is going to win, then I'm going to be the one flying it. So he jumped out of his plane and landed behind the huge barrel at the back of Wilbur's jet. What is this thing anyway, he wondered. Looks like a big metal chimney, he thought, sticking his head inside. Uh-oh. Waldo and Woody had also noticed a huge metal barrel. What is that thing anyway? asked Waldo. It's a rocket booster, explained Wilbur. What does it do? asked Woody. This, said Wilbur, pushing a big red button. A huge flame shot out of the rocket booster. The wolf blasted backwards and the jet whooshed forwards over the finishing line. <gasps> What's happened to the wolf? We did it, cheered the pigs. We won. What happened to that other pilot? Asked Waldo. I bet he didn't want to hang around, said Woody. Yes, grinned Wilbur. I expect he's a sore loser. A very sore loser indeed. Can you see where he is? Mm.